Now the control is being turned on. We have to wait about 30, 40 seconds for this to be ready. comes on. Now the screen comes on. You see an alarm uh, showing that the machine needs to get the home position. This alarm. So we have to take it to the home position. Do it. You press home. Then first the Z axis has to be sent to zero. Then X and Y. So the machine now is returning to its home position. This is a requirement of all CNC machines to set the reference system. the machine is home, ready to start working. Okay, in this video we're going to show you the basic operation of the CNC router with the Syntec controller. Once the machine uh, is at home position, we have uh, the basic keys to move it. The first one is the jog key. Here, the machine can move all axes in rapid mode. The Y, the Z, and the X. You can control the speed of that mode, moving the percentage of the movement, the percentage in speed. More speed. Less speed. Good. Now there is another very useful uh, type of moving. This is called the manual moving, and it's done by the manual pull generator. This device over here. To use that device, you need to depress the MPG. Key. Then you can select the axis and the pulses per revolution for each axis. So it can go fast or move in more precise way. In between one tenth of a of a millimeter per pulse or one one thousand of millimeter per pulse each axis. This is very useful when setting the height of the tool. Show how to use the manual data input key in the controller and also how to calibrate the tool for the job. The MDI key is combined with the F3 key and then the monitor screen. You put MDI F3 in the screen and you write the tool that you are going to calibrate. T1, T2, or T3. For each one of the eight. Then you press cycle start Okay. And for the first time, you also can combine with the MPG simulator. And by moving or turning the knob in the, in the device, you can control the tool change and then the tool calibration. 
Look. So machine is automatically going to the tool setter to take the measurement of the tool. In this case, the length of the tool. This tool is already done. The tool is going to change. And then another tool is going to be measured. This process takes a little long because it's a very precise process for the machine.